The execution began at 6.23. The dozen reporters who witnessed the execution of Clayton Lockett returned to the media center more than one hour after the process began. They explained to those who did not witness the execution what just occurred. He continued with slow blinks, heavy eyes. He laid still. At 6.30, Lockett received his first check of consciousness. Media witnesses say he was still conscious. Robert Patton, director of the Department of Corrections, told reporters he was sedated. At 6.33, media witnesses say prison officials determined Lockett was unconscious. At that time, we began pushing the second and third drugs in the protocol. Uh, there was some concern at that time that the, that the drugs were not having the effect. So the doctor observed the line and determined that the line had blown. That line, according to prison officials, was Lockett's vein. At 637, he mumbles, Something, something's wrong as he lifts his head and shoulders off the gurney. Prison officials drew the blinds in the execution chamber at 639. Patton made the call to stop the execution. After conferring with the warden, uh, and unknown how much drugs had went into him, it was my decision at that time to stop the execution. Patton then called the governor's and attorney general's offices to tell them he stopped the execution. He requested a 14-day stay of execution for Charles Warner, who was scheduled to die at 8 o'clock tonight.